As an author and journalist, I've spent the last decade tasting the best the province has to offer and telling stories to help us reconnect with our food. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing! Mark and Laura, I can't believe you're pastors this year. Tell me what you're doing out here that's making it so vibrant. Well, we keep moving the cattle about once a day, if we can. They don't all have the same personal space. They may not respect my bubble. That's right, they may not. <laughs> From the rolling fields in the south to the boreal forest in the north, Saskatchewan's food bounty overflows. There's so much happening here. We need to promote ourselves more and stop being so humble, because <laughs> we're amazing. <laughs> I'll take you on a field-to-plate journey to discover our finest ingredients and the people behind it all. Because this isn't just my story, it's Saskatchewan's. Brynn, I'm not good at this at all. Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Look joking. at mine. <laughs> a little bit different. No. As a cattle rancher, our theme was pasture to plate. To see the end product, that's so gratifying. It just really is. I feel like a bartender. <laughs> We're doing what my ancestors would have done, using the best of the past mixed with the best of what there is now and providing good, wholesome food. <laughs>